What we're doing at Microsoft is making sure that there's an environment of humans that can make some good decisions. And so that means that we're investing in educating our employees, we're investing in hiring more employees with disabilities, and that we're helping just provide the tools to help people make better decisions. I gradually lost my sight over uh, a period of many years. I had to change a flight yesterday, and I was looking around on the website, and as often happens, strangely, the most important piece of information that I needed was not visible. It happens literally every day, all the time. When I talk to developers, they are always committed to the quality of their software. And when they understand that accessibility is a key aspect of quality, they will immediately devote themselves to it. So what I want to do is take those developers that have this passion and give them the tools they need to do the job right. That's Accessibility Insights. It's a tool that they can integrate into their enlistments, their build system, or their regular workflow, and keep it top of mind every day. And not just at a code level, but to understand the impact that the issues have to our customers. One of the most common issues is when an item on a web page cannot be used with a screen reader. This can happen when an image doesn't have an alt text specified. Our software can actually point that right out. We'll draw a box around it and we'll flag it and we'll say, you gotta fix this. It's a quick tool that takes a couple minutes to run and our developers, regardless of their accessibility knowledge, can easily then debug the issue and fix it in the product before it gets to customers. We are finally able to share this with the community by releasing it to developers all across the world and also to share it as an open source project. We are going to allow developers to make contributions to make Accessibility Insights even better. My hope for Accessibility Insights is that it becomes a reason that any developer has really no reason not to make their software accessible. It's important because not only does it build on open source, but being open source, it allows us to contribute to the greater good. And so we know the industry as a whole is on a journey to becoming more accessible, to understanding what it really means to be inclusive. And by contributing to that community and, and offering our own support, we're hoping to kind of create that give and take where we can learn more, but we can also share what we learn.